First thing after I've made myself a cup of coffee is that I would launch my daily to-do list and check if there's any emails unread. After making sure everything is in the right place, I will then start preparing contents for a daily meeting shortly. At 10 a.m., we will have our daily meeting. This is when we take turns to update our supervisors, our progress with the clients we are dealing with currently. After our meeting, we will then head back to our workplace to start working on our daily to-do list. I am representing the firm today to attend a webinar held virtually from Singapore. At the same time, I am trying to multitask as I will need to submit a summary to my fellow interns on the latest update. I've prepared three frequently asked questions about the firm. First question is always about do lawyers and interns work across in offices together or are lawyers here friendly and approachable? My answer is definitely yes, because our team is actually not as huge as many other international law firms. You can usually get to know everyone within the first day. This matters require direct communications between us interns and our engagement lawyers, who are always open to chat and provide advice if there is any uncertainties in the instructions given earlier. During your first round of screening, you may have a question. How to stand up from other candidates? A rather mainstream tip for me is to have a well-structured and inclusive cover letter and resume. Narrowing down to our firm, it is actually not as complicated as you may think. Strictly follow the instructions from our recruitment officers and never overestimate the competition. Moving on to your second screening, you'll normally be asked to submit a video application. So what should be included in there and normally how long should that be? As requirements may change from time to time, I would suggest asking our current campus ambassadors as they would know the best. Nonetheless, there are three general recommendations that worked well this year. The rule of thumb is to always familiarize your research and mention how you researched about us. Second point, mention who you've talked to even prior or during the application process. The third point could be something special or interesting about you, even if it's not related to law. For my example, I am also a music performance scholar at the university, and during my application process, I spent briefly one to two sentences just to talk about how I believe that the skills that I obtained from being a scholar at the uni would be beneficial for me to intern at Ravenscroft and Shamir. I hope all of you have enjoyed and been benefited from this video. If you're considering applying to our firm, feel free to get in touch with me via LinkedIn or at Campus Ambassadors. What are we doing? Don't just say hi. Say hi to the camera. Yeah, we will.